The 52-inch Chrysalis is a chandelier-style ceiling fan with reversible blades and a color-changing light. The fan is rated for indoor use only and is remote control operated. The 52-inch blade span is best suited for large rooms that are between 12 feet by 12 feet and 18 feet by 18 feet. The fan can be installed on standard ceilings and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. Use the menu to skip ahead or continue watching for the complete installation guide. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that is for a fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a step ladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. Begin by turning power off at the breaker. Prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy bottom cover. Loosen both mounting bracket screws. Twist and lift the canopy to remove the mounting bracket. On the ball down rod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the down rod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. Slide the wires through the down rod and insert it into the collar. Align the holes, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy bottom cover, and canopy over the down rod. Reinstall the hanger ball, being sure to attach the ground lead Insert the cross pin and tighten the set screw against the side of the down rod. If you purchased a longer down rod to install on the fan, you can use the included wire extender to provide more length. The wire extender is not required if using the down rod included with the fan. At the ceiling box, loosen the two outlet box screws. Bring the mounting bracket up to the box and slide it over the screws. Tighten the screw securely. Carefully bring the fan motor up to the ceiling and place the ball into the mounting bracket. Turn the fan to align the groove in the ball with the tab on the bracket. To avoid interference from other fans or devices, you can set the frequency code in the remote and the receiver. Locate the dip switches on the receiver. Flip the dip switches to create a new and unique code. Access the battery compartment of the remote and duplicate the code. The dip switch codes must match or the fan will not function. Bring the receiver up to the ceiling box. Slide the receiver into the mounting bracket with the flat side facing up. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and mounting bracket together with a wire nut. Combine the white wire from the receiver with the neutral wire from the outlet box. Combine the black wire from the receiver with the hot wire from the outlet box. Connect the three pin wire connector from the receiver with the connector from the motor. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Carefully tuck the connections up towards the ceiling box. Lift the canopy and align the holes with the mounting bracket screws. Twist to hold in place. Tighten both mounting bracket screws securely. If the space is too tight for a screwdriver, you can use a power bit to tighten the screws by hand. Lift the canopy bottom cover and align the keyhole slots with the mounting bracket screws. Twist to lock into place. 
The ceiling mounting is complete and the fan blades can now be installed. Bring a fan blade up to the motor. Pick a side of the reversible blade to face downward and insert it into one of the slots on the motor. Align the blade support plate with screws over the holes and tighten all screws securely. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan. Attach the security cable to the tab underneath the motor. Connect the two pin wire connectors. Locate the notches on the light kit. Locate the tabs on the light kit mounting plate. Align the light kit notches over the tabs and turn clockwise partially. Release the light kit to drop it into place. Do not attempt to over tighten. Power can safely be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. On the remote, install the included battery to begin using the fan. Press the power button to toggle the fan and light on or off. Press the fan speed button to cycle through the different fan speeds. The fan can be set to high speed, medium speed, low speed, and off. Press the light button to turn the light on or off. Hold the button to cycle through the different brightness settings. Press the correlated color temperature button to cycle through the three color temperature options. The light can be set to 3000K soft white, 4000K bright white, and 5000K daylight. With the fan turned off, use the reverse switch to change the direction of the blade rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise to push air downward and produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. An optional wall holder for the remote is included. Remove the cover and use the included screws to attach it to any wall. Reinsert the cover and place the remote in the holder. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. For technical support and other assistance, Call the customer service number in your owner's manual.